Hello everybody, um, I've been asked a few times about FT8. Um, I know this isn't necessarily a very uh, new topic, but uh, a number of people have asked me how I do it. So, quick video just to show you. So, uh, just so that you know where I'm looking, uh, the camera's obviously here, but down here is um, the screen that you can see. So, uh, this is the screen that I'm going to be trying to do everything on. Uh, so what you can see at the moment is the um, Power SDR software for the Flex. The other software that I'm going to be using is uh, this, which is uh, WSJTX. Um, that's the main screen that everything happens on. In addition to that, this is the uh, Spectrum, just to show you where all the signals are on that, uh, on that bit of the band. And, uh, and lastly, the other bit of software that I'll be using is this, which is called JT Alert. <clears throat> JT Alert simply takes the information from the QSO in WSJTX and puts it into my logbook. It does a few other things as well, but particularly I use it for this, which is a log for OM. So um, I'll just show you exactly how it works. Um, so here we are. We're currently listening. Um, each um, segment of transmission is broken down into 15 seconds. So therefore, literally, I will transmit for 15 seconds or thereabouts, and then I'll listen for 15 seconds. So, um, let's have a look. The way that I've got this to display, if we just look in my settings, in the colors, um, a CQ message is highlighted in like a pastel green. Um, any message that's got my call sign in it is a powder blue. Any message that I send, uh, no, sorry, that's wrong. Yes, any message that I send is in yellow. Uh, any message that comes from a country that I haven't worked is in bright red to attract my attention. And any message that comes from uh, a station which I haven't worked before, but maybe is in, an, in a, a country that I've worked, is in like a pink. So if we look over here now, you'll see uh, quite a bit going on, uh, lots and lots of pinks, a few greens, and then earlier on I was having some QSOs, so you'll see those in blue. A bit earlier, let's just scroll up. There you go, it's a blue one. Okay, and here on the right hand side, these are actually the conversations, so you'll see an exchange here. So I was calling CQ, then somebody replied to me, I replied back to them, they replied back to me, and then we said thank you very much, goodbye. So that's basically the way that it works. Um, a lot of people say that FT8 is not real radio, well, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Me personally, I enjoy it, I need to amateur radio, so, you know, there you go. So let's have a look. Okay, we've got people calling CQ here. Let's try this one here. Uh, well, let, let's wait. So you see this bar at the bottom here? This goes through a 15 second count. So you'll see for the first 14 or 15 seconds, it will be receiving. And then you'll see this box here go blue, and that's when it's decoding. So these are people. Ah, there's a new one in Iceland. Okay, let's double click on him and Let's see if we can have a QSO with him. That would be really nice. <clears throat> so all I've literally done is double tapped on that line. And what that's done is it's filled in. I'll use my mouse to point rather than my hands because you can't see it. All it's done is it's filled in his details here automatically. So I'm now transmitting that line there. Okay, so that's the frequency I'm on. And it's transmitting Tango Foxtrot slash Victor Echo 2 De Delta X ray from Mike Zero X ray Mike X ray. And then he's called CQ again, and I've gone back and replied. Okay, now there's no science here, it might not work. Okay, it just might not work. And equally, more frustrating than that, it might work, and then halfway through the QSO, halfway through the exchange, it might just drop out. Right, brilliant. Okay, we've got some success. So I've replied here, and he's now um, 
he's seen my reply and he's replying. So what he's actually saying here is M0 XMX from Victor Echo 2 Delta X-Ray and he's given me minus 13 decibel um, dBm. And I'm now giving him minus 21 dBm, which is our signal report exchange. Hopefully he'll come back now. Yes, okay. That's the job done. <laughs> it was as quick and as simple as that. My logbook is now updated. There it is. And I've now got Iceland ticked off. And that's it. You know, some people would say, well, that's quite boring and there's nothing very interesting with that. Me personally, and lots of people like me um, get really excited about that. So let's just try another one. Let's just wait for the receive to finish. Pick on one, this one here, Spain. Okay, Echo Alpha 5 X ray Yankee in India Mike uh, 99. Okay, so I've double clicked on that line, it's automatically filled in his details here. Okay, so let's just wait for it to go through the cycle. And fingers crossed, we could end up with another QSO. And uh, because I've now got the uh, the log book, log for OM, in view, um, hopefully you'll see it update real time. Okay, so it hasn't um, received me on that particular um, exchange or, or transmission, but let's let's keep our fingers crossed. Maybe on the next one. I think somebody else is actually talking to him now, so I think we've lost that one. can see here. So I think somebody else has got him. Yeah, let's try this guy. Okay, so this guy's in Italy. So I'm now trying to um, contact uh, Italy Uniform 1 Juliet Golf Papa in Juliet November 44. Okay, fingers crossed. So literally, I'm not touching anything now. All I've done is double tapped on that particular line and that's my involvement basically finished with. Okay, so he's still calling CQ and I'm still replying. There's one other important thing, you need to make sure that you've got your clock on your PC synchronised. For this I use a program called Dimension 4 and I synchronise um, every time I load up uh, WSJTX. It's just a free bit of software. Uh, you load it up, it goes off and contacts an atomic clock time server, and um, and then you know that your your time is precisely the same as everybody else's time. You'll see in this particular column here minus 0.2, minus 0.1. That's the difference in time between my clock and their clock. For that slight difference, it's not an issue. It's all to do with the timing of these 15 second um, slots. So let's see if this Italian station copies me now. Otherwise, uh, I think we're going to call it a day. Uh, the, uh, yeah, he's, he's copied me, okay. And uh, I've just received a text from Victor Echo 2 Delta X-Ray asking me if I can spot him. This software automatically spots him. So I'm going to simply say, no problem. There you go. And there we go, we've got uh, another confirmed QSO. So that's two QSOs in the space of, uh, what, uh, 10 minutes? <laughs> there you go. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, it, it was never ever meant to be an in detail um, video on FT8. Just a quick overview on how easy and uh, how quick, how much fun it can be. Hopefully, you'll agree it's fun. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed it, don't forget to click the like button. And uh, if you want to see more, don't forget to click the subscribe button. And there's a little bell down there as well. If you click that, then you'll receive a notification every time I post uh, a video on YouTube. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching. Bye for now.